Well, guavas are unique. Uh, they're basically two different varieties, or two different types, I should say, not varieties. Uh, one type, uh, called Catley guava, makes a little smaller guava, and I have set next to me here a strawberry Catley guava. Excellent piece of little fruit, and makes good jams and jellies and paste and uh, all kinds of cooking things that can be done with it. And usually, this particular variety is not a grafted variety. It is usually uh, done from either seed or a cutting. And so it can be containerized and grown on your patio real easy. It makes a beautiful piece of uh, uh, fruit and ornament. Uh, blooms comes out maybe two, three, sometimes even four times a year. So you could literally have an ever-bearing type of tree with it. The other one is more tropical guavas. Now usually those are going to be grafted. However, we, you can have a root and cut in with them also. Uh, your tropical guavas are just that. They're susceptible to cold weather. So rule of thumb, if it gets a frost on it, it's going to knock the leaves off. If it gets below freezing, you start having twig and limb damage from the cold. So they don't take cold real easy. Now, if you're sitting over next to the water, you don't have a problem. If you're over inland here in central Florida, you can have a problem. If you're up north and you want to grow guavas, you're going to have to grow them in a container because they will not take cold at all. Uh, how do you grow them? Uh, basically the same as you do any other fruit tree. You don't water them to death for one thing, although they'll take a little more water than some other fruit trees. And you want to um, fertilize them regular. And when you plant them, you want to be able to uh, loosen the roots so that it spreads out uh, and, and really gets uh, moving in the ground, so to speak. Uh, my favorite little statement is, is that if good things are happening on the top of the ground, good things are happening below the ground. If bad things are happening below the ground, you're not going to have a very pretty looking tree. So that's a good uh, little formula. If it, your foliage is not looking good, the chances are pretty good your roots are not doing what they need to be doing. You need to address that either with uh, fertilizer, fungicide, uh, other chemicals, look out for pests, whatever. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can cause negativity in growing uh, your guavas. But there's also a lot of things that can make them very, very popular and very easy to grow. Rokaz.